Hello again everybody, welcome to day three of our virtual soccer camp. Today we're going to move on to a little bit of passing and control. We're going to start really simple and let Gerald show you the basic technique behind the pass. So the key things are getting the standing foot beside the ball and then through the ball with the inside of your other foot, aiming to your target. You notice as well, Gerald's hips are like a pivot and they rotate back and forward. Lovely. T minus one minute. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So the first part of our passing, Gerald's going to receive the ball in the diamond and pass it back where it came from using the technique that we did before. And after that, we'll move it on so that he receives it from one person and gives it to the other. Now if you don't have two family members or two other people that can help out at home, you can just do it with one feeder and maybe change the angle that it's coming at. But we'll have a look at this and then you can give it a go at home. So the first thing we're looking for is Gerald in a ready position for the ball and a soft touch with a shoe like a pillow. All right, so you can see he's on his toes there, soft touch and back and ready for the next pass. Soft touch, back. He's using the technique that we talked about in the warm up. Back to the other person. I'll do. So this time Gerald's going to receive the ball from one side and pass it to the other. He can try using both feet here. Control on the left, pass on the right. Or he can control on the right and pass on the left. Notice the way his first touch is taking him in the direction of the person that's going to receive the ball. And he's in that ready position like he was before. Perfect. I'll do it. T minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All right, so now we're gonna do a nice easy drill that you can do at home. You probably have a wall or a curb somewhere. Gerald's gonna start by passing with one foot and controlling with the same foot. He's then gonna repeat that on the other side of his body and then he's gonna mix it up. Pass with the right, control with the left and he's gonna to have to deal with the unpredictable nature of the ball coming off the fence. If you find it tricky at first, you can start a little bit further away and as you get better at it, you can move up closer. All right, Gerald, give it a go. So now we're going to try and combine some of the work that we did on Monday with our turns. As the ball comes back off the fence, Gerald's going to mix in a combination of those. 
and he's also going to throw in a couple of one-touch passes as well. So trying to make it more irregular and maybe like what you'd experience in the game when you get back to play. All right, Gerald, give it a go. Minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So next up we're going to have a little bit of fun with some soccer 10 pin bowling. You can see Gerald's got three balls set up so he's got three goes to get as many down as he can. After each pass he's got to shuttle back around the blue cone and get used to running up to the ball before striking it. Alright Gerald let's give it a go. Minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So next up we're going to have Mark feed the ball into Gerald. Gerald's got one touch to control, one touch to pass. Off you go. Good first touch like we had before. Strike the pass. Control. Strike. T minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. T minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So not every ball that you receive in the game is going to be a nice perfect pass like Gerald got before. So this time Mark's going to pitch the ball in at different angles and Gerald's going to make that nice soft touch that we saw before and then try and pass it against the target. Off we go.
Last touch. <laughs> T minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. T minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. going to finish up with the challenge based on the game of shuffleboard. We've got three boxes, orange, yellow, blue. Gerald has three balls. He gets one point for getting it in the orange, two for the yellow and three for the blue. Let's see how many points he gets. <laughs> T minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Today's three questions are, if you're playing a short pass, which part of the foot are you most likely to use? If you're playing a longer pass, which part of the foot are you most likely to use? And finally, between defence, midfield and attack, which area of the field would see a player play the most number of passes? <laughs>